topic for the new school year, especially with what happened more than four months ago now. You, you of course know a shooter opened fire inside Covenant School, taking six lives, including the lives of three children. Our Courtney Allen explores the new reality parents face. One date changed Sarah Shoup Newman's life. I often think of life as pre March 27th, pre and post March 27th. A call from an old co worker told her there had been a shooting at the Covenant School, her son's school. I was like, no, this is, they do bad guy drills, my son calls them. So I'm like, it's just like, this has to be a, this is one of their drills. So Newman called a friend who worked there. She answered in pretty horrific screams. And that's when I realized it was real. A reality that ended with three children and three adults dead. A reality that split her life into the before. I've gone back and looked at that mom's text thread. If you look before, it's reminders of like, don't forget to wear this shirt today or like, you know, a class party. And after. What do you do when a metal water bottle drops on the floor? What do you do when your older son starts like, having potty accidents again. Newman says the hardest thing has been seeing just how much and how often the shooting is impacting their children's lives. Happy Something that was evident at her son's birthday party in June. Some of the boys were on the playground and I heard one of them start screaming, they have a gun, they have a gun. There's a pond in our neighborhood and someone had a fishing pole. And her now six-year-old asking questions like this. How did they know to do the bad guy drills? Has it happened before? Newman co-founded Covenant Families for Brighter Tomorrows and the Covenant Families Action Fund, a bipartisan group pushing for firearm reform legislation in this month's special session. It shouldn't be a right or left issue. I mean, it's it's a matter of life or death. We all want our kids to be safe. Newman hopes no more families have to experience another March 27th. I don't know that I'll ever feel totally at peace again. Courtney Allen, WSMV4.